PS5 seen in the wild, and Phil Spencer not sweating Sony. Let's quest. Hey friends, welcome to Quest for Tech, where every day is a quest to find the newest video games and the coolest technology. With this being a new channel, we really appreciate your support. So do us a favor and like, subscribe, share, and comment below. And here we go. Hey friends, welcome to Quest for Tech. We have some new PS5 news hot off the press. Images have leaked from inside a Sony assembly factory of some sort, showing what appears to be an actual PS5 or at least one of those white fins on each of the sides of the PS5. You can see here, these men have the Sony logo on their shirts and badges. Now the man in the middle is holding what does look like the PS5 or the PS5 fins. It does appear to be as large as we've been expecting. Now this is really cool to see. Why? Because it means Sony has started mass producing the PS5 and they are truly on the way to releasing this year. Now also in the news today, Xbox head Phil Spencer. Now Phil recently commented on the PS5 in an interview with Game Lab. Regarding the PS5 launch event, Spencer says that he felt good after watching the event. The reason is that although Sony has done a good job, Spencer says that Xbox Series X has the specs to give tough competition to PS5. He says, quote, just being honest, I felt good after seeing their show. I think the hardware advantages that we have built are going to show up as we're talking more about our games and frame rates and other things, end quote. Now, Spencer says that they got more clarity on what Sony's doing, which helped his team at Xbox focus on what they have, and he thinks that will be a strength for them at launch. When I think about the position we're in with the games that we're going to be able to show, and how they're gonna show up, and the hardware advantage that we have. I think we're in a very good position, Spencer says. I guess we'll find out in July at the Xbox event. We still have no exact date on the event yet, but we'll be keeping you updated here at Quest for Tech. We also have some news on the potential PlayStation 5 price. Digital Foundry calculated that Sony could sell the digital PS5 at $50 less than the standard, due to the cost of not adding the HD Blu-ray drive and the additional revenue that Sony will make off selling digital-only software to people buying the digital PlayStation 5. So the $450 and $500 price points are looking more realistic. We'll keep an eye out as we're following PlayStation 5 info every day. Well friends, that's all we have for now. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next video and never stop questing.